Now, let's go over to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because we're done with Miami for now. We have drama. Well, Not drama in the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What are you talking about? Uh, I mean, you want to talk about drama. Hold on. When everybody's thinking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills filming, we all just wonder, where is Lisa Rinna today? Well, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking like a big sack of lemons from Dorit's Buca de Beppo <laughs> dining God. room. Do you remember that dining room? <laughs> Did you take your... <laughs> yeah, my camera's dead. Um, I don't remember that dining room. I mean, I remember the dining room, but that's not, you know, anything to write home about. Let's be honest. What is happening? What is this? Listen, at least it's paper magazine. This is a, a renaissance? Um, Interesting. Wow. Oh, that's kind of, it's unique. It's unique. It's definitely, um, it's artistic. It's art. It's art. That's why I said it was artistic. It's artistic. Okay. It's artistic. Okay. It's a renaissance. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we have some stuff going on. And of course, you better believe we're going to talk about it. Because it just seems like these things don't stop. Now, Erica Jane is talking about her new show that's coming out to Vegas, but all of the women right now, if you see her on the right, her name is Anne Marie Wiley. Her husband has had some pretty strong opinions when it comes to the trans community, different communities, playing in sports, all of these different things, which is interesting that you would ever join the housewives with having these you know, strong opinions because everybody sways different ways, right? Some people are mm -hmm. for it. Some people are not. Everybody's different. And we don't talk about those things on this channel at all because I don't want to create an, this is like a feel good channel and I don't want to create an argument for anyone, but Anne Marie Wiley, I don't know if she knew what she was getting herself into when joining the housewives because she joined and all of a sudden, all of the things that her husband, who is a former athlete has said all came out in the open. Now, of course, these ladies are going to take that and run with it as a storyline, especially when you have Denise Richards filming again, Camille Grammer filming again, Faye Resnick. You even called Teddy Mellencamp. I Girl, mean, you they, guys need a story. They called in the forces for sure, which makes me a little scared about what we're getting this season. Either it's going to be really good with everyone or it's just going to be really desperate. But anyway, continue. No, I mean, listen, I agree. But hold on, this is what's being said. A source reveals that two former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills enemies have teamed up against Anne Marie. The two housewives are now friends and have been feuding with Anne Marie over her political viewpoints. Rumor has it that Anne Marie and her husband, former NFL star Marcellus Wiley, are very conservative politically. They reportedly have a close relationship with Candace Owens, and her husband has been very vocal about his opinions on the transgender community. On his YouTube channel and podcast, her husband went on a rant about basketball star Dwayne Wade's transgender daughter. He also made it known that he does not support transgender women competing in sports against natural born women like his daughters. It seems that Anne-Marie and her husband are set to stir things up on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills this season. And apparently Anne-Marie and her husband are not backing down from their beliefs, which will either go in their favor because they're not cowarding and not letting the women run them off, or it's going to not go in their favor. They're going to be one season wonders and they're going to be literally crucified on the show in front of all of the viewers and everything. Well, why will be... join a show like this? <sighs> I don't know why. It will definitely be an interesting conversation to have with this group of ladies if, if that comes up, but <sighs> yeah, what the timing is, is crazy. Yeah. The timing um, is crazy. I mean, she says if you actually listen to her husband's views about trans, it was not as bad as people. I'm sorry, as uh, people are spinning, I think people should actually go and watch the video first. It was very respectful. Interesting. Well, and that's the thing, too, is a lot of these things get twisted. Into, you know, Jason has mentioned this before. We sometimes do interviews and we post the interviews as a premiere, and people don't even know that they're being trolls or just assholes for no reason. And they will go on and comment and say, this was the worst interview I've ever seen. Girl, you didn't see it. The yeah, interview is not it even, out. Yeah, before it even It's out premieres. in 13 hours. What interview are you watching? You know? But then also for this instance, people are going to immediately hear that they have a difference of opinion and not 
want to hear that side because they're automatically going to think it's a hateful side. When I'm curious now with what O Street said, I want to hear it. No, absolutely. And listen, I don't know if it's a political thing or a personal thing or whatever. You know, everyone has opinions about this right now. The trans community is very um, misunderstood by a lot of people, you know, so that's that's also something to talk about. But then also, you know, I, I understand certain things as I was a professional athlete, too, that competing against it you know, someone who maybe has a better ability is is not the way to go. I don't know. I'm still learning about stuff like that, but it is a very, you know, misunderstood. We have friends who are trans and they talk to, to this about us all the time about how just misguided information becomes and how misunderstood their community is. Right. And I think that's the thing too, is instead of so many people are so quick to have so many opinions and I think sometimes we just need to sit back and listen and try to learn and understand Absolutely. and not be so aggressive with our opinions, especially when we're not, everyone's different. Everybody's walking through a different part of life in different avenues, different paths. And if you are not walking in someone else's shoes, stop pretending like you know what they're going through. Stop, you know, like I don't have an opinion on I like I really don't personally I don't have a negative opinion on any community because I'm not in that community. I don't mm. know what it's like. Yep. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean like look, look how even just something as small and this could be big to a lot of people and and for us it was it was big uh gay marriage and where even some of our politicians even where our current president sat on gay marriage back in 2006. I mean, it's it's minds change when you have the information that you need to understand. You can you can understand it better. Um, but yeah. yeah, it will be. I hope it doesn't become too political. Like people are saying in the live chat, we don't want to see uh, politics ruin reality TV. We do not watch reality TV to be to be schooled or educated or like. And who are these people on reality TV to be educating us? Right. So it's like. <laughs> We don't want that. We saw what happened with the Real Housewives of New York. You know, there's important conversations happening off, but sometimes we like to turn on reality TV to escape and and enjoy it. Well, and that's the thing too, is last year we ended up, everybody was so exhausted from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because of the Rena of it all and like the Kathy Hilton. And you thought that that got to a dark place with family being involved. If we take it to such a political space this year and we start going in with huge like if the storyline becomes such a huge difference of opinion on this one singular topic which is a very important topic but if that's what the main storyline is of this season the season is it's going to be bad it's obviously it's be bad not because people are going to be exhausted emotionally it's obviously not the main storyline of the season because i think they are trying to find one with the amount of old new cast members they're trying to bring in and it's it's a lot it's a lot good lord well it, here's another thing residency we need to use a little differently here. oh my god what is it called what is the place called it's um the house of blues in mandalay bay which they i actually saw lady gaga perform there when she first came out by the way like okay. a long time ago but it's residency like the, it's literally is like, like caesar's palace city winery it's not the si no girl. <laughs> oh no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, but like residency, it's so funny because I'm I'm so curious about this. I'm is this it? Oh, that's better. Yeah, this is the yeah. That's it. That's that's decent. That's good. That's good. I was thinking it's like House of Blues, like you know, restaurant bar, and she's just gonna be on the stage. You thought it was this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that. <laughs> okay, good. A residency. I mean, listen, J-Lo did a residency in Las Vegas. Celine Dion, Britney Spears. I think even Madonna's been there. Elton John. Like, now we have Erica Jane. Thank goodness you can buy your tickets soon. They're not on sale yet, are they? Um, No, I think April. Well, maybe today. What is it? I think it was April 24th. I think today's the day that they go on sale. Oh, interesting. Um. Huh. Yeah. I mean, what? Okay. All anyway, right. Wait, what's Anyways. the point about the residency? 
<laughs> my whole point is, is maybe we have something else to talk about. And also Denise Richards has come out and said recently that she is so excited. She loves the franchise and she has filmed a lot with the ladies. So I'm curious to see what capacity they're bringing her back in. But apparently she's come back and Erica Jane is ripping her a new one. So we'll see how that pans out. 